Welcome back to another video and I hope you're all doing well. In today's video we're on a hunt for big perch out of a massive glacial lake. Fishing a huge water like this can be very daunting so to help us out on our perch hunt we're going to fish around structures and points of interest. <sighs> like when I'm filming an intro. I'll run you through the tips and tricks and key points I like to look out for when I'm fishing big lakes like these so you can home in on where the perch are. So let's grab the rods, match them with a the lure, set off on a short walk and get fishing. Now then, before fishing this lake, I gave Google Earth a lot of time so I can find some areas of interest and structure that might appeal to me. And this is where we're fishing first. It's a river that comes down from the fells and then feeds into the lake. So why is this a point of interest? Well, there'll be an absolute abundance of bugs, grubs and flies coming down the river, which will then float on in and the little shoal fish like minnows and pinheads will be feeding on them. And as we know, the predators will not be far away if they are there. Not only is it a great source of food, but sediment, rocks and other materials come down the flow of the river and eventually end up at the mouth which in turn creates a massive flat shelf as it builds up over the time therefore creating a drop-off into the lake take a look for yourself now a drop-off so good because predators will use this as an ambush point and food runway so an area like that can be a pristine place to find a good shoulder perch so we found the bait we found an area we're going to match the bait with a lure and then get casting so the majority of the bait in here as we've found are minnows, so I'm going to match them as well as I can with a little lure and I think that the Kofi bleak in real roach pattern is going to be just perfect. Fishing this on the 1 to 7 gram Lamostique, 8 pound braid, matched down with a 3 kilogram fluorocarbon leader and we are on to a winner. So let's get casting. Beautiful and we're in the water so it's a really nice day now. It's been super super hot recently in the high 20s but we've got a nice overcast day. It came out in the evening and I think it could be really really productive. This is the first bit of cloud we've had. Thunderstorms due in a couple of days so the pressure is going to be a bit low. Yeah I'm feeling nice, I'm feeling good about this. And there we go, there we go, we're into a fish right away. <laughs> oh, I knew it, I knew it. All these tips and all that search on Google Earth has paid off and we're into a nice perch for a first fish here. Let's go. Oh, beautiful. Oh, listen to that, my reel needs a service real quick. Oh, you are beautiful. He's fighting hard. He's fighting really hard. Right on the Kofi Bleak. Oh. And there we have it. Oh, caught me on the side. Inhaled it, hooked right on the lip, just as you'd want. And that's a stunner. What's better, the perch and its beautiful fins and colours, or the backdrop behind it? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, and there she goes. Off down the drop off, just as I said. Well, that was first cast, so I really hope I haven't got the first cast curse, but that was beautiful. Such a stunning fish in a beautiful place, and I'm going to keep this lure on for a little longer and then switch to something else to see if I can get them fired up on some craws. Here we have it. Following the same cast, following the same twitches, and it was just on that first pause that I gave that one then, as I got about three metres maybe away from the drop-off. Yeah, and that one took it without a doubt. That one wanted it right away. So, so, so nice. Could not be more happy with that. There we go. Ooh, just missed it. Oh, he's come back. Yep. Oh, missed it again. Look at that rod going. I think we've got... Oh. Oh, they're going crazy for this lure. They are going absolutely crazy. I was just saying how they were going crazy for this lure, and look at that. My tail's gone. <laughs> We've replaced him with a darker colour here because I'm aware that some of these minnows are actually quite got quite a brown, black, dark tint to them. I've got a really heavy jig head on here because it's super deep and I want to be getting there as quick as possible, but I've only got that in a large hook and as you can tell, it's a tad, tad too big. Like last time, let's get it out there. Fish it on the bottom, a couple twitches here and there and they'll be in sure enough. Oh, oh, did you see that? Right by my feet, this little thing just came right up over the drop. Oh, he's coming for it again. Oh, no way, no way, no way. Oh, oh, my days, just as I was bringing it over the drop off, 
a tiny little wasp comes up and nails it. So that is, just goes to prove that exactly what I said before about how they like to sit there and ambush and wait for bait to come over is 100% true. That's exactly what that one just de uh, demonstrated there for us. That is so cool. And then he started to come back for the lure again. That just so goes to show the scent and the colors on these Kofi bleaks are just perfect. Oh, there we go, there's a fish. I didn't even feel it take. I just bring my lure over the water thinking that it was a uh, bunch of rocks. Oh, look at that. Oh, what a fight. You are incredibly hard. Oh, look at those head shakes on the light rod. Oh, they are fired right up. Oh, and he's choked that right again. Grade A perch take right on the lip. That is so cool to see. Oh, here we go. Come here. Oh. Oh, the colours just keep getting... Oh, he's gone again. Look how hard they fight. Here we go. Oh, the colours just keep getting better and better and better. Look at that. That is stunning. That is absolutely stunning. It is beautiful. This one again fell a victim to the Kofi Bleak in the black, very dark pattern this time. How beautiful is that fish? Oh, so, so stunning. It's absolutely pristine. What a fish to end that little first spot on. And the first spot was so good. I'm absolutely over the moon with how that went. Now, I thought we're gonna put some of the tips, tricks, and methods that I spoke about at the start of the video into another place just to show you how good they can work. So I hopped back onto Google Earth and got searching for a cool little unusual place to fish. And that is when I found this awesome looking wooden pier. We've got streams that feed into this, but the main feature is definitely gonna be the wooden pier. It's gonna provide shelter, it's gonna provide food, all sorts for the fish. So once I found that, I thought it's surely worth a shot. I'm gonna put money on the fact that there's massive shoals of bait fish and there's gonna be little moss on the wooden poles in the side of the pier that are gonna provide food, bugs, grubs again, all for the perch to be feeding on. Not to mention the gorgeous little streams that are gonna be providing the exact same food as the last spot. We're gonna be hopping onto the pier, so I'm gonna be fishing a variety of different methods in. We're going to be bringing out the drop shot. For this I'm going to be using a 7 to 21 gram rated rod father. So with fishing some small little shads on the drop shot and some grubs on the little the mustique, we're going to put my guesses to the test. Let's get a cast in, I cannot wait. We're going to be fishing underneath this pier and we've got the 7 centimetre finesse fillet crawl on. This has actually been nailed before and it's only got one leg on but I've got no more because I keep using them and losing them because they're so good. Anyway, we're working our way along this stretch of uh, pier here and it's going to be so cool. I'm really excited to fish this. I've been seeing little shoals of minnows and baby perch here actually. So I think that if I do come to using shads, the best pattern to use is going to be baby perch because there's been shoals in here of thousands it looks like, absolutely thousands. Anyway, I'm going to be fishing on this unusual pier which is so cool. I've never done anything like this before and then when we get a fish we're going to work our way around other stretches and then eventually go onto the pier and try a bit of drop shotting right beneath our feet. You won't be able to see this but I'm halfway through fishing and all of these little minnows are just eating the way out of my crocs. <laughs> get it right at the back end there. Oh, this is going to be a catcher. It's going to be difficult to catch if I do get one with the one to seven gram of mustique but have we got, got a little perch coming in here. Oh, come on. This is like an absolute God pull. Here we go. Yep, there we go, there's a fish. Oh, we've got one. Let's get out of the way. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, I did not expect there to be perch this size under there. <sighs> Look at that. Finally, after working away. Open your mouth, buddy. Finally, after working away under this pier, I've managed to land a little perch. That is beautiful. Oh, that was hard going, actually. Kept getting little nibble after nibble. She's got to work your way around these poles you can see here. And then eventually, you get them slain. Woof. See you later, buddy. Don't need to say anything there, that was close. All right, we just had a series of bad events happen of 
retain, snug in, retain and snug in, and then retain and snug in. So we've got the drop shot, we've got the 7 to 21 rod father, we've got a pintail down there, it's about 9 centimetres, and we're going to twitch this along into the open water now, along the side of the structure still, and see if there's anything about. Struggling to get a bite after that first one. Just go for a nice color. Ah. Oh! Yes! Yes! Oh, we've got a fish. I didn't even feel that one take. Swing her up. Oh, and it's absolutely inhaled that bleak pintail. Look at that. Oh, there's absolutely nothing left. <laughs> oh, get in. Oh, that took so long. Honestly, I was really thinking that this wasn't going to work out on this pier. Look at that, you greedy, greedy boy. Ah, oh, and we've finally got one. <laughs> Beautiful markings on this one again. Let's lean down and drop her off. Okay. Right back down to the bottom. Get in. <laughs> That's a good way to leave it. That's right, we're doing a giveaway. Now, I kept it quiet during the video so that those who are loyal enough to stay at the very end get to find out exclusively on YouTube. We're gonna be giving away a whole bunch of stuff here. We're gonna be giving away both sides of the LMAB back and tackle bags, extra large and large. But it doesn't stop there. We're also gonna be giving away all three sizes of the window bags. That's 250 pound worth of gear there to be getting for free. So, what have you got to do to enter? Well, it's gonna be hosted on the LMAB Instagram page. So, head over to the page and all you've got to do is this. Like this video and make sure you like the post. Once you've done that, then repost it to your story, tag three friends in the comments of the post, and the most essential part is you've got to comment how many perch I caught in this video, and only those who get the answer right will be in with a chance to win the gear. So that's all you've got to do. Make sure you head over there now and go and get in with a chance to win £250 worth of gear for free. I'm going to do the rest of the outro now because I left it too late when I was out fishing and it got way too dark. So, the fishing, the video, how did it go? Well, pretty great. Now, I wanted this video to be targeting specifically on how to get in and around structures, how to search for them, what to look out for in search of fish and nice perch in any of the lakes that you choose to go to and or rivers, the same principles apply. I hope they made sense and I hope you can put them to use for yourself. Now I get a lot of people asking me about coming up to the lakes and fishing and where to do whatever and what to target and all this stuff. Now use these and you'll be able to do just that in pretty much anywhere you go. So until next time, tight lines, have a great week and I'll see you in the next one.